This next recipe is pretty special. It's a blueberry and pear pie. And is there anything better than pie coming straight out of the oven, served with ice cream? I think not. So first of all, we need 225 grams of plain flour. We're going to pop that straight into a food processor. And we need cold butter, unsalted cold butter. It's very important. I need 100 grams of that, cutting it in to small bits. So that can go straight in there with our flour and some salt, so just a pinch of salt. Now you could add a little bit of sugar to this, a little bit of vanilla or some cinnamon if you wanted to flavour your dough. But I'm going to keep it very simple, very basic today because I want it to be all about the blueberries later on. So the lid goes on. We're going to start to form the crumb first. As soon as we get that crumb consistency, I'm going to start adding a little bit of water until it forms a ball of dough. Okay, now just look in here, you can see that we've got that crumb. So now we can start adding water. I always say between six tablespoons to eight, we'll start with just a touch, put the lid on, and if it's a little bit dry, we'll just add a little bit more. Okay, that's looking good. So with pastry, you need to chill it before you start rolling it out. So I'm just going to take it out of my processor here. We'll pop it straight onto the board, just like this. So we'll just form a disc, just like this. And just with some Glad Wrap, we're just going to cover it, seal it. Just cut some off. and just wrap it nice and tightly and then that goes into the fridge for at least an hour just to chill completely before we start rolling it out and then we'll blind bake. Now this is firmed up nicely so we can start rolling. Now on a hot day you need to be quite fast with pastry because it does heat up quite fast and the faster it heats up, well it's not as manageable. So another trick when you're rolling out pastry is to use some baking paper. Much easier and it doesn't stick to the board. So I need to cut this because we need some for the base and then some for the top later. So I'm going to take a third away just like that. We'll save that for later. We'll even put that back in the fridge and then we can start rolling this out. So just with your hands, just spread it out a little bit just to assist in the rolling. And then we need two pieces of baking paper, same size. We'll place the dough in the centre there, top it with another piece and then it's time to roll. So never move when you're rolling pastry. Always move the pastry on the board. So a few rolls this way. We'll turn it around and roll again. And that way we'll get a perfect large circle to fit our pie dish. Now make sure that you do it bigger than the pie dish because we do want it to overflow so we get a perfect even base. All right, let's get rolling. This pastry is looking good now and I've just been measuring it with my pie dish to ensure that we've just got a little bit to overhang. So now we take off the first sheet and then just with a rolling pin, we just very carefully roll the pastry off the other piece of baking paper and then straight into our pie dish. Now this is a non-stick pie dish, so I'm not greasing it, but if yours is not, then by all means grease it with just a little bit of butter. And then in that goes. And then ever so gently with your hands, press it in there, making sure we don't get any holes. And then all we do is press it down just like this. Now I'll just get my knife and just trim around the sides there, giving the pastry a little bit of a haircut. And you can see, just cut it just roughly because we will be putting the top on it later on. So just cutting the excess off, a little bit more over here. Perfect. Now in order for this not to shrink, we need to place it back in the fridge before we blind bake. So it's gonna take one hour, but I'm just going to get it ready for blind baking now. So just with another piece of baking paper, so make sure that it fits nicely. 
And it doesn't work when you just place it in like this. I always find it easier just to scrunch it up, just like that. And we'll open it up again and then place it into our dish, just like that. And you can see it fits quite nicely. Now, if you've got a little bit of the pie still exposed, just get another piece of baking paper, scrunch it up again, and then we'll place it in there. Now, you could use some baking beans, or I just simply use rice, just like this. We'll place it in there, and this just ensures that the pastry doesn't rise while it's baking. So, into the oven, 180 degrees for about 15 minutes, and then we can start filling it with all our yummy ingredients. <music> of our pie is par cooked now. The blind baking process is finished and you can see that it's not completely coloured yet and it may look a little bit shabby around the sides but fear not when we fill it and then cover it with another sheet it will be perfect. So we can just put this to the side now to completely cool while we get onto our filling. Now you could add whatever you like to this pie make it just a plain apple pie, a pear pie but I'm going to be doing blueberries and pear. For the sauce, I've got 350 grams of fresh blueberries here. Now, if blueberries aren't in season, you can use frozen blueberries. So in they go. Just a pinch of sugar, about two tablespoons of sugar. Now, you don't have to add any water to this at all. What I like to do is just get a potato masher, just like this, and just give them a really good mash and you'll see they'll release some of their moisture there. So we need to cook this for about five to 10 minutes before I blend it. Smells so good in here. So now we have to blitz it. So I've just got a stick blender here and we just want to puree that. I just want this to be really smooth. So you don't have to do this, but if we're going all out and making a homemade pie, these little additions really make a difference. So now we need to pass this through a sieve, just like that. Look at that colour, it's amazing. And just using a spoon here, we'll just scrape the base of this sieve by doing this really easily. We're getting the most out as possible. And then that goes back into our pot here. So in it goes. And now we need to thicken this. I've just got a little bit of arrowroot here and we just want to make a slurry. So just a little bit of water in there. And we'll just give that a mix with a teaspoon here. And in it goes. And we'll just wait for that to bubble away and thicken. And then once it's cool, we can finally start building our pie. We're on the home stretch now, so we can mix our other berries here. So another 350 grams with a little bit of sugar, about a quarter of a cup of sugar, and some cinnamon, so a good pinch of cinnamon, a teaspoon there, and our pears. So I've just got two small pears here, and I've just peeled them and cored them, and I just left them in a little bit of acidulated water while I was waiting so they don't go too brown, and the zest of one lemon. So we'll just... Great that. Okay, so just get a knife and scrape up all of that zest and we'll pop it straight in there. Then we'll give it a really good mix with a spoon just to combine all of that and make sure all of that sugar has been distributed with the cinnamon. Look at that. Okay, so our pie dish, we're going to fill it up with the fruits. Just pour it all in there. And don't forget that beautiful jam or jelly that we made before. You can see that it's very wobbly now. So this is my favourite bit, just pouring this over. How good does that look? Yum! And then we'll just scrape all of it out. Look at that. Now I've got some egg wash here. So just two egg yolks and I've got a big pastry brush. Just break them up with the pastry brush there. And this is like the glue, so we just want to glue the sides of this pastry just around. Be generous with it because you really want it to stick with the other piece of pastry. And this is the other piece of pastry. I've just rolled it out nice and thin. 
we'll get our rolling pin again and just roll it on as we did for the base, very simply. We'll bring this closer and then carefully roll it on top to cover the pie. So you can see it's starting to form now. We're almost at the end. So what I like to do is just press down on the sides, even get a fork and just press down just to ensure that that egg yolk is sticking both pieces of pastry together. Great. So we'll just get a little knife now and again, give it a haircut, just a cut around the sides, just like that. And just with your knife, just poke a little hole in the middle there. Once it starts to cook, you'll actually see all that beautiful jam starting to poke out from the centre there. I love it. And this egg yolk, we're not finished with that yet. We want to lightly brush the whole pie with this. This, of course, is going to make our pie golden brown. And very traditional, I've got a little bit of demerara sugar. This is for the crunch and the look. So we'll just get that demerara sugar and just pop that over the top there, just like that. So when it goes golden brown, you'll actually see the speckles of sugar there. So now this pie is finally done. All we need to do is finish the baking process, 190 degrees for about 45 minutes. anything better than warm pie just coming straight out of the oven. Look, making a pie at home is a labour of love, but look how good it looks. I just can't wait to dig into this. And you do need to let it cool down just slightly before you cut into it. And I can just tell this is going to be so good. I can smell the blueberries coming out as soon as I cut that. We'll just get a little palette knife under here. Oh, and look at that, how good does all of that fruit look? And that delicious sauce there from the blueberries. I'm gonna add a little bit more because it's so good. Bring that over there. And we did say we have to serve this with ice cream, hot pie and a big scoop of vanilla ice cream just on top there. Oh, this is <laughs> so good. I'm gonna have a taste, especially of those blueberries there. Yum. That is so good. You know, of course you can buy pies at the stores, but making it at home, nothing beats it. Mm -hmm.